Hey everyone, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world. I'm your host Elias, great to have you here. And if you notice, there are no robots on my bench today. And that's because today is a very special edition of Smart Robots Review because I got to see the most advanced surgical robotic system in the world, up close and personal, and they even let me try it out. <laughs> that should be fun to see. So the robot I'm speaking of is the Da Vinci XI by Intuitive Surgical. It is a robot designed to be an extension of a surgeon's eyes and hands. It has four fully articulated arms and enhanced 3D vision. So without any delay, let's get started with the show. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. The fourth generation Da Vinci XI, the surgical robotic system by Intuitive Surgical. 21 years of innovation have resulted in a system unequaled around the world. The Da Vinci is designed to be a natural extension of the surgeon's eyes and hands. It features an enhanced magnified 3D view of the procedure and articulated robotic arms with seven degrees of freedom. Operations performed with the Da Vinci are more precise, less invasive, that result in faster recovery for the patient. To find out more, I spoke with Todd Harder from Intuitive Surgical and Da Vinci trained physician, Ashley McSorley from Aurora Healthcare. This is the Da Vinci system. Uh, da Vinci robots basically are, there's different models. This is the Da Vinci XI system, which is the latest technology from the Da Vinci robot. And what makes this better than the previous generation? Of the That's a great question. Uh, so there's a, some real benefits to this in terms of uh, ease of port placement, uh, accessibility to the patient within multiple quadrants. So being able to, to access quadrants multiple quadrants the of the body, mm -hmm. exactly, so up to the splenic flexure, down to the pelvic region, all with one port placement philosophy. Uh, as opposed to previous uh, systems where you maybe needed to redock, so basically take the instruments out, um, move your ports, and adjust, which uh, was certainly possible, and a lot of people did it. It's just it added more time to the procedure. So, the old system to move the bed, you would have to undock the robot, meaning move this robot away from the bed to move the bed. So now this one moves with it, so it's great. Why is it? Why is it here? Yeah. Why is it relevant? So, the whole the whole relevance, I think, of Da Vinci surgery is taking the vision, the precision, and the control, and giving that to the surgeon. So the vision that they have using the Da Vinci allows them to, to see planes that were really not able to be seen before, uh, either open or laparoscopically. Um, laparoscopic surgery is great for surgery is great for patients uh, in terms of reduced length of stays and all the benefits that go along with minimally invasive. Um, the problem is it kind of peaked at about 30% of procedures because of the difficulty of laparoscopic surgery. You take taking straight instruments and trying to do things that it's very difficult to do with straight instruments. So the Da Vinci gives you wristed articulation and gives you seven degrees of freedom. So basically you have seven more degrees. seven degrees. Yep, um, allows you to move your wrists like you do with a human hand, um, and that ability along with the visualization allows you to do precise movements and dissection that really helps uh, benefit the patient and their families. So yeah, there's basically three three components to the Da Vinci system. This is called the patient cart. So the patient cart is basically at the patient bedside and it has four arms. Each one of these arms can be used uh, either with an instrument or with a camera. So another benefit to the surgeon is they have basically three arms to operate with as opposed to just two when they're doing laparoscopic surgery. So, so this basically is a model that simulates the abdominal wall of a patient, an insufflated patient. So the head would be here, the patient uh, legs would be down there, okay? Um, and these ports are used for all minimally invasive procedures, whether it's laparoscopic or robotic. So they're, they're small incisions that are made in the patient's abdominal wall and basically um, in, inserted into the abdominal cavity to gain access. Uh, for the Da Vinci, you have, can have up to four different arms of the Da Vinci system, three being used for instruments, one being used for the camera. And the surgeon has control of all of those. 
So unlike laparoscopic surgery where the, uh, the first assistant is, is moving the camera where the surgeon wants to move, uh, this allows the surgeon to have control. They can okay. zoom in, they can zoom out, they can pan left, pan right, they can look at the exact anatomy that they want to look at uh, and they're fully con in control of that. So here we're standing behind the machine. Correct. Which is called the helm. Right. Basically the helm of the patient cart. It allows the nurse inside the room to, to manipulate the, the whole patient cart up to the patient. So uh, when there's not surgery being performed, this is going to be out of the way. Uh, it basically shrinks down. Uh, it'd be amazing how small this shrinks to. It basically shrinks to the size of the base and about this high. With Todd's help, I had the opportunity to play doctor for or rather surgeon for a little bit that only after a minute I felt like an expert operating this surgical marvel. So basically as soon as you match grips you basically take your fingers and you match the, 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 the motion of the instruments that are inside the abdomen and then your movements inside of the, uh, the, the surgeon console are mirrored here inside the patient abdominal cavity or thoracic cavity, whatever type of procedure you're doing. So what's great about the Da Vinci system is when you move your left hand, your left hand moves. When you move your right hand, your right hand moves. In laparoscopic surgery, everything is backwards. So it takes a lot of uh, practice to get comfortable. And if you try to uh, use a, a, a laparoscopic instrument right now and, and move these little um, these little rubber bands onto each one of these cones like they're doing now, these people that have never done surgery before, it's very, very difficult to do. It takes a lot of practice. Whereas here you've got somebody who's never done surgery that's doing it in a matter of minutes and, uh, and moving these precisely to exactly where they want them to move. Well, that was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to operate the most advanced surgical robotic system in the world. This system allows a surgeon to use the robotic arms to perform operations that are safer for the patient, to, for the surgeon to be more precise. And as a result, the patient will recover faster because the incisions are smaller. There's less blood loss during the operation. Truly remarkable. So, what do you guys think? I'd love to hear your opinions, your thoughts about today's show. Leave your comments below, as always. And until next time, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review.